Well, greetings everyone, and welcome four color fans to another one of my special Tuesday video showcases. And last week I showed you my Magnavox Odyssey 2 collection and a little bit of a curveball. <laughs> but today I'm going back to comics. And I'm going to show a very little known series from the mid 70s. Uh, and it was called Fast Willie Jackson. Now, about a couple years ago, I talked about the series in a very general sense. Um, but today I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth about this really quite interesting seven issue series. This was by Fitzgerald P uh, Periodicals, and their only other comic book series were historical um, biographies. Uh, of African American, um, you know, important African American either events or, or, or people in, in the past. Um, Martin Luther King, um, George Washington Carver, uh, Alexander Dumay, etc. So, but this is their their only you know what you would call regular comic book series you know that with ongoing characters etc. And as you can tell, this was done much in the vein of uh, Archie comics. Uh, very humorous. Uh, the art style is very similar. The stories are, you know, again, very lighthearted. They're very short, you know, sometimes even one page or three or four pages. Uh, very quick hits, you know. Uh, the artist here uh, on the cover is uh, Gus Lemon. And I'm pretty sure that he was. Um, he, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen his his name in some Archie comics in the past. Um, but he was an African American artist. There are no credits in this series at all, except for you know his signature on the cover. I could not. I went through every single page. I could not find anything. I don't know who the editor was. I don't know who the uh, interior artist, the writer, uh, letterer, nothing. So. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this was an all-African-American um, done comic, but I don't know that for a fact, all right? But the characters, the main characters are African-American, but the, the, there, there is like a lot of supporting characters that are, you know, Anglo, uh, like the uh, Officer Flag. There's a Latin, uh, Jose Martinez. There's a... Um, um, a Jewish gentleman owns a, owns a delicatessen, uh, an Asian uh, gentleman who has a, um, a, a karate dojo. And again, they don't appear in every issue, but they do appear here and there, you know. And of course, in every in every comic, I mean, every issue, they're, they have distinct characters. Um, uh, Fast Willie Jackson was a high school student, kind of in the vein of, you know, Michael Jackson, I guess you can say, sort of clonish. And you had Jabbar, which was into more into like the uh, African history, and he 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 kind of concentrated in, in dressing that way. And you had uh, Hannibal, which was kind of a strong man. You had Dee Dee here, and you had Frankie, you know, who was kind of like uh, you know the ladies' man, you know, uh, you know again, you know you you have you have distinct characters here, but um, but again, it was all in good fun. Um, I, again, this is a series you just, I, I don't remember seeing this when it first came out. I don't remember seeing this in 7-Eleven, uh, when I was buying this, this series started in 19, mid 1976, and it only lasted seven issues, and I think it ended in 1977, late 1977, so it lasted about a year, right? Um, I don't remember seeing this originally, and, um, again, there were 30 cents, uh, which, is, which is probably about what what the comics were back then. Um, again, they're 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 cool to have. I mean, just because they're so uh, different, you know. Uh, you know, if you're an Archie fan, you'll like these for sure. You know, and if uh, and if you like if you like those oddball series, you know, you're gonna like these for sure uh, because um, you know you just don't see these around. Um, I picked up, I, I found this whole set in the wild, mostly in, in 50 cent bins and so forth. And I've actually found multiples and I've upgraded over the years. Um, 
So I really enjoy the, the this set. Um, again, mine is not not every every comic is of the highest grade, but you know they're all in fairly good shape. Again, this one here, you know, uh, Archie had a lot of beach scenes, uh, and here this is no different. Um, you know, they had a lot of you know double entendres and things like that, of that nature. You know, uh, kind of that kind of uh, quirky humor. Uh, here, this is Jose, and he had a, uh, a restaurant or a ca ca uh, cafeteria or something like that. Um, again, you know, just a, a cool little series that you just don't hear too much about. Uh, again, just seven issues. That's all that ever came out. And uh, this this company went away pretty, pretty soon after this uh, as well. Um, so, again, I think they, the, the, the first Willie Jackson is actually worth quite a bit. If you can find it in high grade, again, I can only imagine the print runs on these on these were pretty low because I again I never saw these, um, you know, on the newsstand or in 7-Eleven or anything like that uh, when I was younger. So that's it, folks. Uh, just a quickie today. I just wanted to show you this uh, rather quirky and obscure series. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I remember tomorrow will be the contest roundup because. Um, on 4th of July and I'll be out for a few days there but I should be back so there might may not be there might not be a Tuesday video next week unless I can get it taped and uploaded um, but definitely there will be a um, roundup next week all right everybody I'm out of here thank you for joining me on this little journey through this very obscure and but interesting series <laughs> everybody again be blessed and be back